Hi everyone, this is Cormon78, and I'm back for the next episode of Let's Play Aladdin. So, I thought it was kind of wrong for me to be Let's Playing this game and not show you all the story in the game, even though I'm sure many of you already know the story of Aladdin. But, you know, so I just got back up to this point, and so that we could see the story again. Okay. So, we've got both half of the scarabs, but, ah, gasp, we got ambushed. Darn it. Hey, look who it is. It's a girl in scantily clad outfits. Yay for Disney equality stuff. I don't know. Anywho. Um, ooh, princess. Yes, I know who it is. I know the story, but yeah, whatever. Um, so, Jafar is already in control. Yeah. No worries, we'll just escape on our own. Don't ask me, Aladdin. Um, if I ever knew to have that kind of stuff, I'd have a girlfriend by now, but, you know, whatever. So, on to the Sultan's Dungeon. But, since we're going to, uh... Now, let's just go like that, and get back to where we were in the previous game. So. So, um... Yeah, now we gotta get through the Sultan's Dungeon. This is, you know, not very hard. Those things will hurt you, even though they look like they're in the background. So, watch out. And we got my mortal nemesis from uh, the Aladdin in the Lion King game. Oh! Watch out for those guys. They replace their heads with bombs, and then they explode, and their bones will hurt you. A lot. So be careful there. These things go in and out. And, uh... Yeah, more precise jumping in this. That's when it all starts, really. So, yeah. Um... Oh, God. Come on, Cory. Timing. Timing! Ugh, I can't get my voice to do that. Anywho, uh... Yeah, so more about what I've been doing since then. Uh, then in January, it's the play I do with my theater group, FAS. And this year it was about politics, and we did the student politics thing, it's a musical comedy, we do a original show every time, I'm a techie, I do stuff backstage and things like that, and it's a ton of fun, and but really a lot of work because it's a three hour show. So yeah, you gotta be careful with that kind of thing. So it takes up a lot of my time, and you know, it sucks that it's over. And then when I was, uh... Get down there! So then now it's reading week, and I've got some time off, and we just came back from skiing in Blue Mountain. Uh, because, yeah. Kinda tough to go back to that after, uh, skiing at Whistler, but what can you do? So that's pretty much what I've been up to. Oh, and turns out, um, the problem with my feet that I was having in, uh, in, um, New York was because the orthotic in my foot, because I have flat feet, became unbalanced. So it was basically as if I wasn't wearing them. And my, but I just fixed it, and you know, all good things. So now my feet don't hurt anymore, which is a good thing, because that was uncomfortable. Something called plantar fasciitis that I had there, which was because, yeah, my foot got all inflamed from that. And there's a dying animation! That really doesn't make a whole lot of sense, because I haven't met the genie yet. But, whatever. So, yeah. That was that, and that's what's been going on basically since, uh, the last video. Um, hope you guys liked the, uh, visit from, uh, Texty last ep- in the, um, episode of, uh, uh, Sonic Spinball. Who knows, Texty might join us again. Oh, and there's the, uh, other place. I kind of missed it, but, you know, oh well. Um, Texty might join us in future episodes, we'll see. I'll see if I can get him to come back. Uh, he had fun, so, yeah, you know. 
I hope you guys like them, and I'm about to die again. Wow. I'm nor- Really? Come on, Cory. You're not this bad at this game. Yet. Later on in some of the other levels, it gets kind of crazy, but... Well, one level in particular. But, you know, right now, you're not that bad at this. You were able to do this all without losing a single life during your practice run here. Yeah, I was just doing it, just to make sure I wasn't a complete moron at the game. But apparently it doesn't matter, because I'm a complete moron at the game the second I, uh... actually turn it on and start recording. Wow, they really got that time jerkishly, don't they? There we go, another continue point. Hopefully I don't die more. But, you know... That's that. Alright, so, um, how have you all been? Uh, it's been a while since then, and of course, you know, it was my birthday while I was in Whistler, and then 22 now, and yeah. So, yeah, there's that. I'm gonna go see a movie with my theater friends afterward, um, when I get back from reading week, and that's more or less what's going on here. There's a lot of precise jumping in this kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, not a whole lot to talk about in terms of the actual game here. You're just going along with it and watching out for these things. Uh, that's basically all you gotta do. Alright, so what to talk about now? Um, hmm. Oh, there was a funny little uh, thing that was said last week by uh, the senior marketing manager of TELUS, which is one of the big telecom companies, one of the big three telecom companies here. Um, our federal regulator for this thing, the CRTC, Canadian Radio and Telecommunications Commission, was uh, is holding uh, hearings about new cell phone standards. About, you know, because our industry is completely ridiculous, and, uh, so, we made it out. Okay, um, well, let's see if I can do this properly. Got seven on. Yeah. Yay, life! <laughs> Poopy! Um, okay, uh, so now we gotta give this weird old guy the scarab. I really don't get that. But, yeah. Uh... Okay. <laughs> well, now we know who that is. But as we all know, things aren't, you know, that difficult. But, uh, this is an interesting level, because it's got a lot of instant, uh, death traps. Well, falling means instant death around here a lot. And bats! Lots and lots of bats. Stupid bats. Crap. Uh, anyway, um... Fish. You'll see those guys a lot, those statues there. Um, anywho, uh, you just sort of move slightly, and, you know, go like that, and you'll be able to, uh, make them move so that you can get them. It said there, hit the statues, those big things with the gems on them, you're supposed to hit them to make them go away, and that'll make other parts of the level go. So, they're holding stuff about that, because our industry there is really, really bad. They'll throw stuff at you when you, uh... God darn it. So... Good. Okay. Watch out for the rocks here. Be careful, because that'll get you. Ah! A poop! Good. And there's another genie thing. So, uh, and then... Obviously, then they're trying to, you know, restrict, um... 
They're trying to restrict, you know, contract lengths and do a bunch of other things. And naturally, the telecom companies in this country are very happy because they've been happily ripping us off for the past, you know, long time. So, uh, the senior marketing manager of TELUS said something really stupid. Um, it was that the majority of Canadians don't want a cap on their cell phone bill. What kind of BS is that? We don't- we want to overpay for our stuff. I've been doing it for years, happily. What kind of- I dub you, sir, stupidest person alive, and probably dumbest thing ever said. No matter what you say, you can be sure that this guy said something stupider. And I died. Again. Because the bloody friggin' bats. It's always the bats. Okay, got that. Thankfully, they give you plenty of, um, health power-ups in this. In this level, health regenerative things. Now would be a good time to start using this. Because I'm gonna need it later. I'll need those. Because the next level, I'm gonna be dying a lot. Where'd all my apples go? Eh, uh, yeah, you know, you'll lose. So this guy, just go around here and... You can actually use your sword for him. Which is unique for bosses. Because most of the time you're fighting bosses with apples. Which can get to be a problem later on in some of the later levels. So yeah, just watch out and... Slice at him. Eventually he'll go away. There we go. Eventually he'll go away there and you don't have to worry about it. So now... Hey, it's the magic carpet! Now we just gotta try and grab things and good, thank you for doing that. There we go! Now we got a lot of precise jumping with those fish, which can get really annoying sometimes. Uh-oh, we got the rocks coming here, which will get at you sometimes. And hey, we got the lamp! What do you know, we got the lamp! And let's see if we can get some apples here. Or those. Or life, that could always be useful. Eh. Oh right! A poo bonus level! I think I'm gonna end the video after this, but you know, we'll see what we can do here. Poo in the cave! A poo in the cave. Yeah, it's a bee! Why do I say a poo? So you just gotta watch out here. Just... Whoa, 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 whoa! Darn it. I'm usually better at that. <sighs> you have touched the forbidden treasure. It's the guy there. And apparently the monkey's talking here. And then we've got this level. One of the hardest levels in the entire game. If not the hardest. But, I'll have to save that for next time. Because I don't want these videos running too long. Anywho, this is Cormon78 signing out with Let's Play Aladdin. Bye-bye!